Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. This is episode two of the Discord GSV 13 guide, and in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to set up slash commands. So let's jump straight into it. I hope you all enjoy. Now, starting off, I'm going to be converting this ping command that we created in the previous episode into a slash command, and doing this isn't going to be too hard. First, I'm going to be removing the aliases since slash commands don't generally have aliases, and I'm going to be adding a new parameter into the options here, which is called chat input command. And this will take in a few arguments within itself. You can type in something like register and give that as true. And what that does is it will register this command in every guild it is in or every server that is in. So basically this slash command becomes a global command. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding the guild IDs. And here we will create an array of strings and each string will be an ID of the server that you want to register the command into now i'm using this because if you use guild ids the command will get registered basically instantaneously but if you use register true global commands take up to an hour to register so for the purposes of this video i'm going to be using guild commands now after this we have to go in here and change the message run command or message run function to chat input run so chat input is basically a slash command where you have to input the command into the chat so that's why it's called chat input and here we're running an interaction now an interaction is basically a signal given to the bot by the slash command and we have to reply to the signal so for this we do await interaction dot reply and give a response in here so that's basically it now for making this command to work we have to first go to the discord developer website once again and if you haven't done this already go to the auth section and then the url generator under scopes you select both bot and application commands application commands is important as you need that for the bot to be able to register a command and then click on administrator copy the url and then use that to invite the bot to your server and after that you will be able to execute the slash commands now let's go back here get the guild id so let me get the id and paste this in now let's read on this and test it out I type slash and click on the test spot we see that we have pinned and typing this we get pong as the response so that's basically it for basic slash commands like these that's all you have to do if you use sapphire now i'm also going to be showing you ephemeral now let's do this once again await interaction dot reply but i'm going to be adding curly brackets this time to add some options first let's define the content which is what we previously had and which is pong and then i'm going to be adding ephemeral and set this to true so what this does is that basically it makes it so this response is only visible to you and you can also clear the response yourself and no one else other than the person who executes the command can see the response now let's run this and test it out if i do ping once again you will see that you have the same response but it says that only you can view this command or this response and you can also remove the response if you want so that's basically how ephemeral works so that's going to be it for this video it was quite a basic video in the next episode i'll get into message command arguments and later on we can also cover arguments for slash commands and yeah that's about it for this video thanks for watching please leave a like if you did enjoy it. and i'll see you all next time